boots kept me kind of dry. Just launched. Got the duckies and the siren. Still in Detroit. It's an example of not to camp. No trespassing, hunting or fishing. Got to keep it going to find that perfect dispersed camping spot. Looks like it could be a good camping spot, but it's too close to the freeway. No signs, a lot of dead trees down. Maybe if you're desperate. Wait, posted. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Keep it going. And here comes the giggler. Geekler. Oh. <laughs> One shot and he's out. Giggle, giggle. <laughs> there it is, right above us. Look at that big old hawk, I think. It's going after you. <laughs> he's really just circling us. Sun coming down. Finally away from all the noise. Nice and peaceful. Man, there could have been a spot back there. We haven't been on the river long enough though. Only been about an hour maybe. Keep on going. Only people out on the rivers. See one person in a canoe and we launched. It's a nice sandy bluff. I've walked it before. Too close to houses. Now I've been up there before, like last year. It's just too close to houses. I guess it's an option though. No signs. Coming up on potential spot. Looks a little dark. Got a tall little bank right there, but I don't see any signs. I guess if you're desperate. Yeah, that could be something. Still, been a lot more time to go, I guess. If I was desperate, hour and a half we've been in. Gonna find something better. You can climb that big hill, there ain't no signs over there. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, if it was like almost dark, over here I'd do the other ones, but yeah, unless you wanna go up the top of that mountain. You like that movie Deliverance? Come get you. Oh yeah, you still haven't seen that movie. Looks like another decent one up here. That's what we're all about. Disperse camping. Trying to find the right spot. I haven't seen any houses in probably a quarter mile. This seems a little dark though. Well, this looks tempting, but it's not exactly a primitive camping. Sounds like I can hear cars up in the distance. Um, 20 minutes later. Thought the boys from Deliverance got you. Nope. Nobody, you're good. Continue on. Went up on some more open area, but looks like man-made. All the posts.
see any signs? I don't see any signs either. That actually looks decent. Uh, that don't look bad. We can give it a little bit more time. Kind of want the sunset to be right, right on us. That's it's a little bit. That don't look bad though. Potential camping site. <laughs> it ain't Keystone. <laughs> it ain't Keystone, but it looked good. Cheers. Find out here in a second. Look good to me. I wonder what it used to be. Got man made logs here, but we got the sun out still and it's sandy. I think we're taking this spot. Real Giggler struggling to finish his beer. Definitely a tough pull him with the branch, but made it work. Now to get this thing, yep. That a boy. This is definitely a nice spot. Bike trails. No signs of any uh private property though. It took about 10 minutes. We got her down. Ground super hard. Don't have a hammer to knock the stakes in. Well, give her a whirl. up good. Got the old bush beer. Dave got himself a fancy Mexican Modelo. Mosquito is actually out for May 7th, but not bad. We'll get this fire going real nice. Real nice, Clark. Real nice. <laughs> Intruder. Usually you walk away from them. If it's a skunk, David, you're going after it, and I'm running. Is it a coon? A porcupine? You don't even have a weapon. Do you? I think I think it's a porcupine. I'm pretty sure. I've never seen a porcupine up close. Wow. That's a fat thing. Man, if this is really man versus wild. It's a porcupine, man. Porcupine! Want a treat? <laughs> that is a freaking porcupine. <laughs> Got the salmon on the fire. Having us some salmon and pasta salad tonight. It's a late dinner, 11.30. Gonna eat good, though. Too much running my hand. I don't know if I can do it left-handed. <laughs> it's me and Berkeley Chris. BK, I said. Yeah. 
half eaten. Dead got it going. Salmon ain't bad. 38 half a pound. <laughs> also selling ain't bad either, I guess. Yellow peppers. There's a whole bag. Orange, yellow. What else? Is it red? I don't know. All you left me is yellow. And you say they're good. <laughs> Alright. That's all you got to say. Did you say the high was today? 66. Feels good. I got my t-shirt on. Last night was surprisingly comfortable with no air pad. My back feels 100%. from our first site, waiting on David, taking a while to load up his stuff. Beautiful day, 66 and sunny. Water's freezing, but you can get your feet wet. Not bad for May 7th. There. David's cruising good. He ain't lugging this raft. couldn't record coming in because there's fishermen hanging out at it this whole stream and the river's been covered with fishermen all day that time of year I guess so I didn't get a chance to record it but I'm trying to give you a view of it I'm freezing right now and the water is cold but here I do oh it gets deeper David passed out already. Ugh. Cold. Woo! Get smoked out. Oh no, David's getting tired already. It's only seven. Modelo. Cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Two days late. <laughs> <laughs> Ran out of bush. Had to drink this uh, fancy Mexican beer. Yes. Thanks to David. It ain't bad. It's better than Corona. I agree. It's got a really robust, hot taste. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> And we're smoking them out. Look at that. Yeah. That wood's a little wet. It's all right. We got plenty more to go. Got a beautiful sunset last night here on Osable. Getting smoked out. Fire is really smoky, keeping the non mosquitoes away. Hardly any bugs. Indeed. Got maybe five minutes left. Before it gets down to uh, what? 36 you said? 34? 34? I'm like shirtless in shorts. <laughs> 66 down to 34, man. Jeez. Guess I'll wake up cold. Yeah, especially with a decent lunch time. Probably try to leave around what? 9 or 10 or something? We got what, four and a half, five hours down, it won't be too bad. But in the morning it's gonna be a little rough. Got steaks going tonight. New York strip, Caesar salad. Good night, boy. Time to get up. Sunday morning. What's the temperature? About 45 or so? Sixty-six hard today, fifty-five now. Ice still there. Didn't want to bite the bull and got one, but I did. White pine made it. You think we can get in there easy? We're only gonna stop for a minute. We're gonna get some lunch in us. Don't look like anybody here. Some definite slow water. Stayed here at White Pine once before. Back before I was doing dispersed camping. This was the only spot that I liked. It's the only one that's riverfront. Right on the water. The rest of them you gotta go in a little bit. I'm sure that ain't bad, but I always preferred waterfront. Life just got better with some bacon. Well, just still have any uh, ranch or mustard or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm adding another piece to that. Feast. Roast beast. Tables have turned. David's doing the tow boat now. We've got the empty raft with the Eddie. Boys. Getting your workout in now? Yeah. Oh, look, he's trying to pass me. <laughs> we believe we're coming up on Rainbow Campground. Pretty sure. Yep, over the rainbow. Now I think the map said it was an hour and a half to McMaster's where we're getting into my truck and headed out, but pretty sure it only took about 40 minutes last time. Yeah, it was a pain in the butt to stop here. The current's a little fast. Finally made it to McMaster's. Wasn't too bad. to get here from Rainbow Bend to McMaster's. Just wrapping up three 
day, two night trip on the Asabal. Just got here to make Masters, about to leave. Had a great time. Got us a two and a half, three hour drive back. Kayaks are loaded up, ready to roll. Any thoughts, David? It's a hell of a trip and made it out alive. God bless the <laughs> Oh my god. That's all good, man. Love it. And like I always say, if there ain't a sign, you're good. Mr. Bull. Oh, stay down. He missed me. Where are you driving? 